Welcome back. Have no fear. That boy Ro is here. I'm one of the best of the best of the best. Now, today we are reacting to Corey Kitchen coming back, okay? Now, he has influenced my channel more than you guys will ever know. He helped motivate me to start my channel. And even though he would take breaks and come back and take breaks and come back, it definitely pushed me to start my channel. But I want to react to his newest video of him coming back after his, I would say, semi-retirement after he hit 10 million. But let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you know that phrase, there's an elephant in the room? It's mm -hmm. like 12 elephants. I'll start with what might be the biggest elephant in the room. The samurai hit 10 million! Samurai hit That's 10 right. million subscribers. Last video I uploaded was celebration of 9 million, Nine saying million. all this stuff. Well, you got so many now, do you guys know that 10 million is just so astronomical that that is a huge number and achievement to acquire and it's just so amazing that this guy had did it himself and i'll just say it, it's pretty amazing let's get back to it though i know y'all want to see this though memories to make oh we still got time and then i never uploaded another video oh is this not serious <laughs> That's how I felt, literally. Like, he uploaded 9 million, and everybody's just like, okay, he'll upload 10 million, he'll say his goodbyes, and then he'll be good to go. And then, nothing after 9 million. That 9 million video just left us on the cliffhanger, and I was just like, bruh. But let's get let, let's get back into it, though. Um, I got a package from YouTube that I've been waiting for before I wanted to do this video. Corey, go ahead, give him a little sneak peek. But before all of that, before I do something, I open a package which I don't even deserve. I wanted to speak with you all candidly. Now, I know he sat back and said that he don't deserve it. Bro, you, you do deserve it. All that work, all them hours, I already understand. Like, and if you guys do YouTube as well, especially gaming, y'all already know how much time that takes from loading up the game to testing everything out hey guys finish testing that game yet to making sure your sound quality is good making sure your camera is good making sure you look good making sure you feel good mentally and then playing the game trying to beat it or get past whatever level that you guys are on and then editing it which is a task and a half waiting for it to finish the uh edit or well, waiting for it to finish you know, producing, uh, that's what I call it, producing, and then uploading to YouTube, crossing your fingers, hoping that the video doesn't crash out like it has on me before so many times in the middle of uploading. But enough about me. Let's get back into this, though. About my whereabouts and um, some, I guess, my retirement. Now strap in, got a lot to talk about. Your boy hair changed, a lot of changes. Tired of right. walking around with the nappy afro. We done with that, all right? I'm old. <laughs> Yo, it feels good. Peep the drip though, the boy got the braids now, I feel you. Good, it feels good sitting in front of the camera. I always feel like, man, it's about to be so awkward, but it's like I sit down and I, I never miss the beat. Some of my family members got COVID. Um, now this happened like months ago. My grandma got COVID. It was very, very bad. Not only my grandma, my aunts, my cousins. I actually made a video a couple months ago that I'm very glad that I didn't upload because it was super depressing. I have a challenge. Yep, commercial. For all of you. Go to every computer in your house, your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's computer. I'm just going to use this video to get my feelings out, um, vent to the camera. Sort of like the old 2015, 2016 YouTube days. All it was was I was talking about COVID. I was talking about my family. I was going to upload it because I'm like, at least it'll tell them where I'm at. But the video was so depressing. I'm like, someone's going to watch this video and then their day is going to get worse. And I never want that to happen. 
True that, and I that's what I try not to do on my videos. I want to show you guys the real me and how I'm feeling throughout my videos, but you know, I don't want to, you know, rub off any you know bad vibes or depressing vibes onto my subscribers. I want y'all to stay happy, and I've had plenty of comments here. You know, since I started back in March, that have just really opened my eyes up to how much I've helped some people. Like, hey, look, I'm having a depressing day, but thank you for uploading my uh, uploading your video. Uh, that just made my day. And it's those little comments like that that definitely keep me going. But let's get back into it. So I never uploaded that video fast forward like another month. I hit 10 million subscribers now My cousin was the first one to let me know because um, I wasn't checking Last time I saw I was like at 9.6 million and I was like, oh shoot I'm getting close. I need to prepare something. I need to have something ready because this is a moment in the making years in the making and before I knew it my cousin called me so excited about how I hit it. Like a moment that I was dreaming about is finally here. And my grandmother is in the hospital about to pass away. There's such a minuscule amount of YouTubers that ever reach 10 million. And here I was, one of the chosen few sitting here in my car that's where i was i didn't want to go on social media i i really despise going on social media when i'm not working and i'll be honest though like if if that were to ever knock on wood but if that were to ever happen to my family members or even my friends or even one of you guys like that have been close to me throughout my youtube journey that i've started so far here you know i wouldn't be able to just upload and Act like, hey, nothing happened, but let's celebrate my next milestone. It, it would be hard for me. And I would probably take a little bit of a break, too, honestly. Because there's a lot of people asking where I'm at, conspiracy videos. Where's Corey Kenshin? I hate those videos. I hate them so much. Mike has sent this to Corey's Kenshin YT, which is Corey's Kenshin's Gmail. And surprisingly, Corey's country did respond to Mike. No, I didn't respond to your email, <laughs> Mike. Hey, did y'all notice how his shirt changed? <laughs> Dude is goofy. Some of y'all suckers actually believed it. Videos got like 400k views because of a fake email. He spelled August wrong. There's no E in August. <laughs> oh, spell August wrong. Oh my god. Don't believe any other YouTubers talking about, I know when Corey Kenshin is coming back. They don't know when I'm coming back. Because I don't know when I'm coming back. You wait for the source. <laughs> this dude. I am the source. Even a freaking source. video talking about, I worship the devil because I had a red t shirt on. Your boy, Curry Kitchen. Curry Kitchen. You know, obviously he has a Coca Cola shirt on, right? And if y'all remember my video, I explain. Bro, you, you can't know, even wear a red satanic, shirt. That symbol is. <laughs> Worship the <laughs> devil! <laughs> Those people oh that believe it! In all the breaks that I've taken. Uh, I gotta hand Come it on, to Ray. you. First of all, the samurai is probably the most diehard loyal community on this website. And I'll be honest, though, his samurai a community is so diehard, like. They would go to the edge of the earth for this guy, which is amazing. And I just hope that one day that I can get a loyal following that is built up like his that would do the same for me as well, because it's the samurai. I mean, come on now. I don't even know what to call you guys right now. Like my subscribers, I've been thinking about it since day one. What would I call my subscribers if I got a loyal following one day? And then I came up with nothing. We, we, me and my little crew, we, we thought of calling my people's Rogaine, but then that sounded like the hair care product. So I was just like, look, I don't want to call them Rogaine. Maybe if y'all comment down below <laughs> what I should call you guys. I, I don't even know. Site. 
Um, cause I don't know no other YouTubers that can leave and come back the way that I do for as long as I do. And to gain a million subscribers while I'm gone. Probably like PewDiePie's, you know, if he could do it, you know. <laughs> but like, I'm gonna be honest though too. I, I'm sorry I keep pausing, but I just felt like, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I do feel like I just got to keep uploading because I do get this sense of urgency of wanting to give you guys more content. And I'll be honest though, I'm scared. I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine if I left for a week and then just a hundred people just jump ship. Now I hope that you guys wouldn't do that to me, but I just have that thought in the back of my head at times. Just like, oh my gosh, dude, I, I gotta just keep hammering out. Cause if I leave for like a week, who knows? Back into it though. Like besides that, I don't know. So I gotta hand it to you. Um, but what I've done is create a divide in my subscriber base, in my community. You know, we got the people that, no matter what, die hard. Don't, Don't talk, talk about, about the Shogun, shogun like that. I'll come, come to your house. house. And then we got the people that have seen <laughs> the fall <laughs> from glory, the fall from grace. Um, I was here when Corey was really about this YouTube stuff. I saw the effort that this man actually will put in. I saw the work and the the talent and the charisma and the essence of what that man used to be. Now, sure, you know, I've come back from breaks and I've dropped bangers, obviously, but I've never resumed the the magic. Magic. Is simply the byproduct again. of doing something <laughs> that you love to do unconditionally. That's right. For magic. Example, for me, that's video games. When you're doing something that you love to do, doing something that no one has to tell you to do, something that you you don't feel forced to do, you reach this almost zen-like state of kind of like ultra instinct you just moving autonomously the magic yes, yes sir yes sir has been gone and i think i realized that a while ago which is why at seven million subscribers i made the dumb idea of or i had the dumb idea of announcing that i was going to retire at 10 million i say it's dumb because all that it that that really did i feel was put a lot of panic in my community um i feel like it kind of made would i panic if i said i was gonna retire at a certain number please let me know i don't know i don't know i don't know we'll, it happened we'll faster if that makes sense and um there was really no i mean i thought about it at that point but i should have thought <clears throat> about it even more and if i did i would have come to the conclusion you probably don't want to say anything until you make until it's happening you know and and then i wrestle like well you don't want to surprise people like that but i don't know i just feel like it, it created a lot of panic and um if i could redo that i wouldn't have announced my retirement at seven million but that is the next biggest elephant in the room i told you guys that i had other stuff that i wanted to do with my life you know go back to school and um you know, start a family, which I guess like isn't mutually exclusive from making YouTube videos. I, I always just thought it would be super hard to do. And um, shoot, I'm <laughs> clearly complacent as it is where I'm at now. So add a family on top of that. And, and I always thought like, nah, I'll probably be done by that time. It's hard to do YouTube, like really do YouTube and do like other stuff, which is why. Right. If he ain't telling the truth. Because people out there just think that, oh, I just play a little video game, I do a little editing, and then I just upload it. It's a one, two, three step process, but it's it's really not. And uh, some of these videos that I do upload, especially like the longer ones that aren't live streams, uh, honestly though, that takes, some of them can take a, a few days. Like a video, like I've done some videos where, it would be 30 minutes to an hour. And y'all think, okay, cool. 30 minutes to an hour video. You know, that's not too bad. You, you, you know, he took a little bit of time to do it, but it wasn't too bad. Nah. No, 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 no. Not at all. 
That video probably took like three days of me stressing out how good it is. And I would sit there, and you guys don't even know this, but I would sit there and I would rewatch and rewatch and put it on the big screen. You know, watch it there. You know, just the hardcore critiquing myself. And I, yes, I have a, you know, nine to five job too as well. You know, I got family members, friends, just a whole bunch of stuff that I got going on. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to do YouTube. YouTube is one of the hardest jobs I ever had, okay? But at the end of the day, I still love it. I, like, I have a lot of breaks because while I can do YouTube and, and do other things, um, a sharp decline of quality would be ever present in those videos. Retirement to me is scary because I know that there are some detractors that believe me doing YouTube is only because <clears throat> of money. Money being my biggest motivator for coming back when I do and I don't need money anymore. Money is zero, number zero motivator for me making videos. Um, but I was scared for different reasons. I felt that God had given me such a gift of this channel, of this community. Who am I to just put that down and say, that? Eh, I'm done with that. How do you, how do you walk away from a blessing? And I feel like you guys are a blessing, honestly. Um, and I, I can't walk away from you guys, you know, even though I only got like 1K, well, a little bit over 1K, shout out to all y'all that stuck it out, but, um, you know, I, I can't walk away from you guys, you know, you know, I can't, like, I, I care about you guys so much, and every time that I do a video, I think about the person who said, hey, look, your videos made my day, or I think about the people who be like, hey, look, I showed your videos to my kids, and they absolutely enjoy your videos so it, it's it's stuff like that that just keeps me going as well because that's what you guys are 100 percent, hands down even the haters even the people that talk junk even everybody um that has anything negative to say you all are a blessing and how could i reconcile walking away from that i'm a gamer through and through it just makes sense for me to have this kind of career. So if it's a blessing, you change the shirt again. <laughs> and I'm good at it, and I'm a gamer through and through, what is the cause for retirement? Why is that even something that I considered? What, because I get tired of doing it sometimes? And this is me, you know, going back and forth with myself. I posited that if it was something that I really love to do, why do I put it down so much? Keep My dad works for Ford. And what his job is, is figuring out <laughs> solutions to various problems that arise in the plant. And my dad likes that job because he said it challenges his mind. He, it's not just brainless grunt work where he's pressing a button and a conveyor belt. Sometimes the solutions can be very complex, could take hours. To, to fix this one singular problem. Now, stretch that out for about 20 years, okay? And my dad isn't so fond of his job at Ford anymore. He's just not in a position to put it down whenever he feels like it. That's all the difference. Now, clearly I've taken that idea and run with it <laughs> to the most extreme. Yeah. Right? When you are doing something and then you put it down for nine months for four months three months five months there's something fundamentally wrong and i think i figured out what that is a lack of challenge a lack of mental stimulation beyond what's normal i mean That's it's right. evident in all the games that i play what do i do automatically put it on the hardest difficulty never played the game in my life but i needed to be on the hardest difficulty i feel like bruh. i'm talking a lot bruh i don't i know i, I, I can't i know i don't do that i'm gonna be honest though and what i y'all seeing me i'll be like uh i'm just gonna go ahead and keep this on normal or medium let me move over real quick it's talking about easy uh medium and hard i'm just gonna play uh medium which is normal you know 
Yeah, yeah, you already know. <sighs> because some games. What I want to say is that there's no possible way that I can retire. That's right. And um, while I'm sure that's great news to mm -hmm. some people. It kind of feels like I'm playing with the feelings of other people. That's like, yo, you had us thinking you were going to retire this whole time. And now you're saying that you're not. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be on another break in two months. I entertain that thought, too. I'm like, dude, you, you can't just come back and be like, ah, I'm not retiring. Because that's insensitive. You had these people thinking since 7 million that you were going to do that. And so yeah. now I'm thinking like, no, now I have to do it. Now I'm locked into a choice. But you're never locked into anything um, except child support. You never want to um, <laughs> this dude. do something because you feel like you forced into it. I want to continue to be a positive influence over the young people that watch me. So... Bro, it's not even the young people, for real, though. Like, me and him are pretty much around the same age, and he's definitely influenced me a whole lot. I've been wanting to do YouTube, you guys, and some of you guys may not know this, but, like, phew, I've been wanting to do YouTube since 2013, 2014, or something like that, and I just kept making excuses, honestly, though. Actually, when I first uh thought of the idea i wanted to do tech review but that is expensive not saying that this ain't expensive because this all this these lights this computer all these games this mic this keyboard all of this stuff it's expensive but i just didn't have the funds at the time to do it so i kind of just like sat the idea down then i Thought about the idea of, okay, well, I'll make a gaming channel. This was back in, like, 2016, 2017. So, jump forward about a couple years. And I just, I, I, I didn't do it. Like, and that's, to this day, I just sit back and I think, like, dude, like, I could be, you know, at a million subscribers by now. But it was me. That hold my I had to help myself back from doing it. So my message is to you guys: if you want to start doing YouTube, just start it. Who cares if you don't have the best quality stuff? If you got a cell phone that has a decent camera on it, do whatever you want to do, and make sure that you do it to the best of your ability. That's all I gotta say about that. Something that I was thinking about was making a new channel, and I'm like. <sighs> You, you really about to do this all over again, Corey? You really about to start from scratch? But I kind of want to. So I'm issuing a challenge to myself. There you go. So that I can make sure that things stay interesting. Number one, go back to school. There you go. Number two, continue doing YouTube while I'm at school. Mm. Number three, challenge. Get another channel up to 10 million subscribers. And number four, get the Corey Kenshin channel to 25 million subscribers. This should keep me extremely busy, but it's very important. For a while. It's very honestly. important that I just <clears throat> don't plateau, you know, that I don't relax and I, I reach, I got my diamond play button. There's nothing else for me to do, you know, because there's, there's always something to do. You just there have is. to challenge yourself. You just have to think outside the box. You just can't get complacent like I have been these past years. The things we could do with our time if we used it properly. Let's get to the play button. I, hey, let's uh, see it. I let's see it. My office. Got a couple displays over there. Not sponsored, even though they keep asking me to make Bro, sponsored videos. It. Oh, by the way, this is a new Detroit hat because um my other one has some miles on it. Check this one out. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me show you. There you go. Can you see it? This <laughs> dude.
I'm not gonna hold you. This thing is heavy. My mom always says the heavier it is, the more expensive it is. And I'm inclined to agree with that. You see, because this wasn't right. expensive in the currency that you might be thinking of, money. No, this, my people, this was expensive in the most precious form of currency, time. This. That's right, you can never get time back. over 10 years to get and if we're all being honest like i said earlier i don't even feel like i deserve it but god blesses us in ways that we don't understand nor he deserve. does so he does uh, thank you so let me get <laughs> this dude just open here <laughs> yes sir yes sir yo it is a freaking suitcase briefcase That's case right. yes sir yes sir all right all right everybody relax calm down hey look i got Susan excited too herself wrote me I'm like oh my goodness all of you too dear cory kenshin at a hundred thousand we thought not bad that's a healthy new channel at one million we thought Wow, this creator is pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna ask y'all this. I'm gonna ask y'all this. Y'all gonna help me get to a million? Because that would be awesome. That's like the dream goal one day is to get to a million subscribers. And I'm working my butt off to make that happen. I'm trying to constantly upload, bring fresh new content. And I've even started to react to stuff. So I'm trying to give y'all a little bit of everything here. Susan, really? You should have came to that conclusion at 50k. But 10 million! 10 million! At this point, we're actually scratching our heads. How on earth? 10 million subscribers isn't just a lot of people. It's more than the entire population of New York City. The fact is, you're no longer just a great channel. You're a movement. That's right. I said... You're no longer. I'm getting high, bro. Samurai, stand up! I repeat, stand up! I'll be honest, I'm like, <laughs> I, I wanted to stand there. up for a second and two. I'm here streaming the Disney bundle, watching Loki. You know what? I almost stood up. <laughs> we hope you'll accept That's this right. Diamond Creator Award as a That's token right. of our appreciation and our respect. For what you've accomplished you amaze us and inspire us every day absolutely Keep it coming. yours sincerely susan wajaskiki um it's been an honor to be able to i would have butchered her on name. this platform and inspire and um, just create the best content that i can um thank you for having me truly with exposition out of the way. Open that bad boy up. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Boy, I would put some gloves on and everything. Y'all know how I do it. I gotta see this, man. You guys. Oh. Oh my God. This, yo, hold on, hold on one second. I can't, I can't just, I can't just be touching. There you go. My bare hands. Are you That's crazy? Disrespectful. Let me get my Swarovski gloves. Yo, I got some Swarovski gloves. Is... Where did he find those gloves at? Heavy. Ah, ah, ah. This is a level well deserved in my wildest dreams. Well deserved. Did I ever think I would? Did I ever think that I would make it here? It is because of you guys. Praise God, man. Praise God for giving me 
you guys. Oh, they mess around right, and get he a praising them, bro. Kitchen, a diamond play button. Oh, hey! Change! 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 YouTube, do y'all sell cases for this? I'm just supposed to keep this out? So it can get scratched up? Man, I put it on a rotating what case. What is a case for this? Something. Oh, well, I mean, there's that case, but like a display case. I mean, it sits up nice. You see, they got this padding at the bottom. So you could, like, put it, like, on a mantle. Oh, look at that diamond play! Put it on, like, a mantle. Like <laughs> this that, dude. Nah, I, I need, like a, like, a case for this. No matter where you are in life. You might feel like you wasted too much time or that it's too late for you to get wherever you're trying to go, accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish. And that is the worst thing that you could ever possibly do for yourself. That's Be right. your biggest critic and your biggest cheerleader. Believe in yourself, have faith, and don't give yourself any limits because there are none. Look at me washed up youtuber <laughs> use Just me as an example <laughs> go back to the video where i'm announcing that i'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and I, that's what i'm trying I'm to do right now yeah subscribers look at hey y'all i'm trying to do that right now give me the 10k give me the 10k let's do it i'm trying man back and and see that at that time at that point in time i had no idea if i could even reach 10,000 same here. I was going to say 1,000. God has put in my lap 10 million of you all. There are no limits. No. Nope. Well, that was the end of the video. Uh, I see it right there. Um, that was very inspirational for me. It touched me deeply because, like I said before, I was watching him a long, long time ago. And just to hit those certain milestones is just amazing and you know you know to see that type of motivation right there to keep going i want to tell you guys this okay never give up on your dreams because you don't know when your blessing is going to come next and i feel like me starting this channel has been a huge blessing not only to myself but to others because not only do I get to entertain people through these weird, good, but yet bad, and even more weird times or whatever, but I also get to, you know, just let people know that, you know, to have faith, have faith in whatever it is that you have faith in, whether it's yourself, your family members, your friends, you know, whoever you worship, God, whoever it is, always have faith, never give up you know and with that being said hopefully i'll reach that milestone one day of 10,000 50,000 100,000 million but only you guys can make that possible and i will continue to push out content try to put a smile on you guys' face um no matter what and also start to show you guys more of myself too as well because i know that you guys are sitting back wondering well he games but i want to see some more of what that boy row is all about too and i will do that i will do that okay i'll do that so if you guys have any suggestions for that please link them down below uh not link but write it out down below uh but with that being said i'll stop uh rambling uh, make sure that you guys uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you guys already know. And always remember to be the best of the best at whatever you guys do in life. Alright you guys. Peace.